title of my presentation is Rock in the Box, and you'll see in a minute why I said that. Okay. Um, grab all my notes here. I apologize. So, um, why do we invent? What is our inspiration? Mine was a pet rock. This guy, Gary Dahl, put a rock in a box and became a millionaire overnight. He had gotten it together with his buddies, and they all complained about taking care of pets. So he created the perfect pet. Well, that started me on my journey to invent uh, the next pet rock. Um, so anybody can do that, right? It's a pet rock. Um, uh, this happened quite a long time ago, and I'm still on my journey to put that rock in the box and make some, uh, make some money. So. So Gary Dahl had a problem. Um, he didn't want to feed, care for, or clean up after a pet. Therefore, he created the pet rock. I also have a problem. I don't like to clean up after a meal. So, And one of my favorite TV shows on TV is Home Improvement. I hope you guys all remember that. But the star of the TV show was Tim Allen. And he had one solution to every problem. And that was more power. <laughs> And if you guys remember that show, that was his tagline there. So I knew I had, I had to apply a solution to my problem. Okay, next one. When I worked in the garage, I used a power saw, a power drill, and a power screwdriver. But when I cleaned pots and pans in the kitchen, I used sponges, brushes, and scouring pads. So I set out to develop a handheld ultrasonic scrubber. My first prototype, this is the first prototype that I made. The prototype didn't work very well. But what happened is I accidentally discovered that when I put it in the pan unattended, that it would circle around the pan and clean it on its own. So they got me thinking. Here's one of these here that I created. So there's the first one. It goes around the pan and cleans it. Purely by accident. It wasn't my intention. It was to do it, it was to do it by hand, but it did it. So I made about four or five of these types of prototypes. So it does work. It does work, but it doesn't work very well. Oh. Now to attempt the magic panel. There you go, you got it? Don't touch the computer. Yeah, I know, no, I don't want not. to. I swear to God, I'm not. The lights, the lights are fine. The lights are okay. Oh, no. There you go. Hey, the screen's is, is there, still is on. A, what do you know? Is there a presenter light here or nothing? No. I guess that's all. Don't worry about it, that's good. <laughs> are we stressing you out today? <laughs> I can't read his notes. I know, I really seriously can't read my notes, but that's, that's perfect. Well. Well, okay. Okay. So here we go. Um, so because that one didn't work very well, I realized that I had to create something else. And then I realized that a tripod is a three, if you have a three things, you can actually support weight on it. So I figured I would try to create something um, that had three scrubbers on it. So I created this. Um, uh, prototype here, and I went and created about 30 other prototypes like this. So, and here is a video of one of my, my second to final prototype that I actually invented. And some eggs, and these are both stainless steel pans, so they are the hard ones to clean, they're not the non stick pans. If the baking pan is done, and this is where it serves the pot. This is the residue that's left in the bacon. Cross and turn it off. As you can see, the pan's almost clean. There's only a few seconds that it was in there. Maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. Turn it 
tried to film this straight so there's no cuts in it so you know that I'm not cheating here. And I have the camera in my hand and the pan in the other. What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> yes, exactly. It is. It was actually 100% clean there. So, I'm sorry. After the video, it takes a while to get back to move this thing to the next. Uh, oh, here it goes. Um, so, how's the whole plan pan, pan cleaned? Well, there are three different scrubbers, each cleaning different areas of the pan. The center scrubber cleans the middle of the pan and halfway out to the edge of the pan. The second scrubber cleans the corner of the pan uh, where the pan meets the uh, bottom of the pan, meets the sidewall of the pan, and the third scrubber cleans the sidewall of the pan. So here's my latest prototype. I don't know what happened to the sound on that, but that's my latest. That's the one that's waterproof than the, the original one I had. It's a si very silent, <laughs> yes. It does make noise, though, so. Exa great. I don't think I had any uh, sound on that one anyway, so. Okay, uh, the spot cl uh, scrubber cleans all the popular pan sizes from 6.5 to 13 inches and all the sizes in between there. Um, uh, the sidewall, uh, so the sidewall scrubber can collapse, uh, it can collapse from 90 degrees to 135 degrees, so it cleans any pan that's straight up or out like this. Um, there's a three position switch, on, off, and timed. The time setting can be adjusted to one to five minutes. Um, these scrubbers are, when these scrubbers are dirty, maybe put in the dishwasher to be cleaned. And here's a little demonstration of uh, three different size pans. They're six and a half, nine, and 13 inches. Shows you how to clean them all. It's the exact dimensions to clean all, all, all the typical side pans. I'm doing it, okay. And, um, let's see. So my goal is to provide everyone that doesn't have, doesn't want to clean another pot or pan again the power to do just ja to, to do just that. If you'd like to see a video of my pot scrubber in action, you can go to tinyurl.com forward slash pot scrubber. Uh, thanks for listening to my presentation. Are there any questions? This is battery power. Um, this is a prototype. You can put anything in it. This is a prototype. So I mean, lithium. Uh, or nickel metal hydrate will be put in there eventually. You have to have a plug for it. So yeah. Right now I just have lithium in there. But so it'll last a long time so I don't have to keep opening it up and using it all the time. Is that a handle? It is a handle to pick it up as a matter of fact. Can you use it on a wall by holding the handle? You could but there's better scrubbers instead of something like this. There's handheld scrubbers. A single handheld scrubber probably work better because this one's kind of going to go all over the place but you could yes. One more question. Do you plan, you plan to manufacture this or do you plan to license it? Out? I want to license this, yeah. Okay, so that's you bet.